By this time next year, these cornfields will be gone, replaced by new factory buildings. There's still some expansion space in the existing halls, but KTR has an ambitious goal. It wants to double its sales volume over the next four years. Currently, it produces clutches, brakes and radiators for cars, excavators and construction machinery. Its main markets are France and Spain. Business is even going well for its subsidiary in northern Spain. This is the man behind the success story. Josef Gastner is 64 and could have retired long ago. But as boss, he's proud of the firm and knows all of his workers. He's reluctant to hand over the reins, especially while things are going so well. He believes Europe deserves Germany's help. I think we in Germany have a very special responsibility. We Germans in particular have profited greatly from the euro, and that's why our contribution should be special. Finding qualified engineers or skilled workers isn't always easy. Gastna has even had to bring in some Spanish workers to fill the shortfall. Practical help in a time of crisis. Spaniard Antonio Gomez has just been home for a visit and saw how hard his compatriots have been hit. Many workmates, especially the younger ones, asked me whether there was any opportunity for them to come to Germany to work. I said, if you can't speak the language, it's hard. But some of my mates worked in Germany 20 years ago and would like to come again because there's just no work there now. Things are just dead in Spain. But the boss is more optimistic. He says Greece may be bankrupt, but Spain, Italy and Portugal are not so bad off in comparison. I'm very confident. I read in the papers a few days ago that Spain and Portugal were making very good progress in the restructuring of their budgets. So people can look to the future with confidence. Upstairs, the apprentices have to literally go back to the old drawing board. Only later will they be allowed to work on computers. On the computers, engineers develop prototypes with every last detail honed to perfection. Gastner explains that's the secret of the success of German engineering, precision and hard work. Despite his optimism, his views on the Eurozone are guarded. He favors helping Spain, Portugal and Greece, but stresses that assistance shouldn't come at any cost. Nothing comes for free. That's the bottom line. We can't provide an endless supply of funding. But I also don't much like it when people generalize about debt problems. Gasna believes in a no-holds-barred debate. He sees no reason why there shouldn't be a two-track Europe, with economic powerhouses like Germany and France working on their own together. I'm convinced of the need for serious discussion on a two-track Europe. There are certainly countries which need to catch up as far as infrastructure is concerned. And economically speaking, it's impossible to push forward everywhere at the same speed. I could definitely see advantages of a two-track Europe. For some time, KTR has been shipping its products not only to its European neighbors, but also increasingly to Brazil, India and China. The company has 20 subsidiaries around the world, but Europe remains its most important market. The expansion of KTR's headquarters on the Rhine continues. And no, the boss isn't thinking of stepping down anytime soon.